Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play AC Milan in Football Manager 2018. And this last episode, I played quite a few games because we had this really annoying bad stint, two losses in a row, but then a bounce back, big win, big win, big win, decent win. And then finally, in, in the last game, we only managed to get a draw at home versus Sasazulu. So, quite a few games. Quite a few big wins and then annoying at home draw. That brings us to this league table. So we are currently two points uh, behind Napoli and uh, we are two points ahead of uh, Fiorentina. And then Juve is actually five points behind us, but remember they have only played 15 games. And actually, when we're looking at the league table, I want to show you something interesting. Because this is how last season ended it. And last season, one team like had a sensational season, uh, other than us. Because of course, I would say it was great because we managed to win the league for the first time. But Palermo ended in fourth place. And the media were predicting them, I think, I believe they were predicted to end in 14th place. So they like really were the big sensation of, uh, of this season. As you can see, they were only a few points behind Napoli also, so uh, it could have been ended even better for them. But that means they are playing in the Champions League this season. And this season is a complete disaster for them. Look at this, bottom of the table. So they've gone from fourth place last season to being lost. And I mean, Talk about change, big changes there between two, two seasons. Of course, last season they had three players loaned uh, on loan from us. This season they only have one player on loan for us. So maybe that's the difference. Uh, only having one AC Milan player compared to having three AC Milan players. And of course, uh, they've been uh, struggling a lot in in the Champions League also. Not tactics. I want to take a look at schedule. As you can see, they've lost most of the Champions League games. They had one win at home versus PSV. Uh, but other than that, they have been uh, been struggling uh, completely in, in the league uh, also. And uh, us, on the other hand, uh, we have played one Champions League game, actually. Uh, we played uh, versus uh, Red Bull, got a big win. And uh, that brings us uh, to this league table. Because uh, today... We are playing Chelsea at home. And we are in a very, very good position. As you can see, no matter how the game ends, we will go through to the next round. But we definitely have the chance on winning the group. Probably a draw will be enough for us. Because look at the difference here in goal difference. We have plus 10 and uh, Real Madrid has plus 3. Real Madrid is playing versus Red Bull, and they are playing them at home, so they will most likely win. Like, I would be very surprised if uh, Real Madrid doesn't manage to win this one at home. Um, but still, a draw should be enough. Now I'm not taking anything for granted, because Chelsea is not a bad team, and it would be very stupid to underestimate them. When we played them uh, the first time in the group stage, we were playing a little bit more defensive, we were focusing on counter-attacking, this time we are playing them at home at our pitch and we will be attacking and uh, that of course could uh, could end up like something completely different but I have no idea what effect that's going to have but we are going to try to win it and uh, today's uh, team let's just do it like that but no um, uh, Bonventura is, is out with an injury um, he is back soon. It's nothing serious. I think he will be back in just a, a, like two games or something like that. Uh, but he has been out for like two or three games already. But I just want to show you Sana, the youngster. Look at these, all these green arrows. If he just can stay fit, he definitely have the potential to become a world class world class winger. I mean, look at all these green arrows. It would be fantastic if. Uh, if it could stay like this for, for a few more seasons, because he's only 17 right now. 17, and these statistics I have huge expectations for, for the young lad for the future. But I feel like enough talking, uh, it's time to play some football. Let's submit a team. This is Chelsea team we're up against. 
quality plays in most positions, and as I told you last uh, last time we're up against them, they have signed Firmino, so Roberto Bobby Firmino is, is the striker. Other than that, a lot of quality players, but um, I mean, we have a lot of quality players uh, also, so I want to say, what can we say? I want to tell them that I expect a win. Maybe like that then. So yeah, game on. AC Milan versus Chelsea. And we managed to beat them away. It was a sensational game and a very, very important win. But as I said earlier, we can't take anything for granted here. This is, could become a very difficult game for us. If you can get a good start, I think you can do very well. But uh, if Chelsea, on the other hand, gets the good start, that was a weird acting by Donnarumma. Uh, we could be in some deep, deep, deep trouble here. But um, I prefer to be optimistic. Come on, guys, we can do this. We can. I mean, it would be fantastic. I mean, I'm, I'm, oh, look at his silver. Ah, I think it felt like he could have done, done it himself. Go close goal. Here's Berardi, actually. That could have been a sensational start. Imagine if he would have scored before even playing a whole minute. That would have been crazy. But I mean, if you could manage to win the group, that alone would be sensational. Winning a Champions League group ahead of both Real Madrid and Chelsea would be crazy. But that was a weak pass and probably shouldn't get us cocky because I have a bad feeling. Come on, guys. Let's take a look at the latest scores. I want to keep track of uh, the Real Madrid game in the bottom here. Well, I would be very, very surprised if, uh, if they didn't manage to beat Red Bull at home. They should be huge favorites for that game. But uh, you never know. The only thing I know here is Bobby Firmino. It's uh, Chelsea attacking. It's a lot of plays in our box. This could be, oh my god, that was uh, really, really bad. Could be considered us lucky that we didn't concede. But right now, look at the chances here. They are creating a lot more chances than us. Maybe we should change something around with, uh, with our formation. I want to give it a little bit uh, more time. But um, that's a worse on start. But I guess it looks like we are closing in. We are creating chances now. It's Theo with a throw in for Sosa. Sosa for Silva. Silva all the way back to Theo. Theo into the box. It's Silva and just over the top bar. And I uh, think uh, Real Madrid has uh, taken the lead. It was like I had like only got a glimpse of an eye for half a second of, of the scores. So you can see, yeah, they have taken the lead. Uh, Ronaldo there. So, yeah, probably game set match. Uh, there already because uh, I really can't imagine Real, Ma Real Madrid uh, Red Bull tying that one around but here is Chelsea and Chelsea is putting pressure on us I don't like it come on guys beautiful day by Romagnoli for Sana Sana for Sosa Sosa changes uh, side of the pitch for Berardi Berardi Locatelli Sosa uh, all the way out to Calabria on the right flank Berardi so, so, this could be really dangerous. Here is Sana. Here's Sana. Oh my god! Why didn't you pass Sana? Oh my god! Let, let's move back here. Take a look at, at, at this chance where he was. Let's stop it here. Look at this. Three guys. We just would have passed it here. It would have been a goal. It definitely would. Why, why Sana? You're kind of in a baddish angle. And this would have been a really easy pass and it would have been a goal for, for sure. I'm not pleased. I'm not pleased at all. Definitely could have done that one better. And we are dominating with the chances now. We're completely dominating. So I guess this was just early on uh, that they were performing really well. But uh, the lads needs to know I'm not pleased. We need to step it up in the second half. Look at these ratings. These ratings definitely uh, doesn't reflect the team that are winning their Champions League group ahead of Real Madrid. 6.4, 6.4, 6.5. Come on, guys. You need to step it up for the second half because this is a bit embarrassing. Um, we definitely can do better than that. And show me that. Still um, a one-goal lead for Real Madrid versus uh, Red Bull. Come on, guys. Oh, what's up with that? Is, are we going to make a mistake like that? Giving away a throw-in? Nope, we are not. That was a weird highlight. And I'm ASAP going to tell Romagnoli to uh, ease off his tackles. Because I don't want um, 
to finish this game with only 10 plays on the pitch. Sosa with the corner. Oh, damn, what a scream. I could have been like, oh my god, Real Madrid is destroying them now. They have 3 nil uh, lead. We might as well close that window down the next time it, uh, it pops up because uh, that's game over. 4 1. Yeah, let's remove it. We are creating uh, some chances here and uh, really feel we could do, do better, guys. I really feel it. So let's sub. Guys that are crappy. Silva, my god, 6.4. You're out. Berardi, 6.5. Guys, do you even want to win this? That, that's just embarrassing. I know you can do better, and you know that you can do better. Not much going on here, though, since those subs. Block is just taking away, so I guess we could go for, for the last sub. Let's see, he's really tired. I think we should go with Sosa. He's been playing decently, but he is tired. I think we should bring in Demako like that. I've been doing a lot of rotations, but Sosa's actually played two games in a row. And uh, it shows on his uh, fitness levels. Here's Sosa though. Demako sets up Catrona. The two subs are linking up with each other, and I think he could actually. Uh, I've waited there a little bit, instead of taking the shot, waited a little bit and then tried to pass. Labia with a throw in, Soso, Gessier, Gessier, Soso, Soso for Catrona. Catrona will go himself, well he tried, he loses it, could be dangerous, but beautiful inception by Locatelli and look at this, the man with subbed on the pitch, Damacchio and yeah, love it when you can see a result of uh, of your subs. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Great pass there by Locatelli also. Great inception and pass. And clock is ticking. We're getting closer and closer to full time. And I must say, I'm very, very pleased. I mean, we managed to beat Chelsea both away and at home. It really shows what a quality team we are becoming. And look, oh my god, I thought we were going to do another one. I think we really should. That was a great chance for Soso. But yeah, that really, really shows what a quality team we have become uh, through those seasons. We have so many players that when we started the first season, they were really young and they're still in our team. And now they start almost every game and they have just uh, developed uh, beautiful uh like each season become better and better and uh, yeah as i said winning the group ahead of real madrid and beating chelsea both at home and away it just it just shows what a quality and actually look at that result seven to one so they were really trying to overtake us when it came to to goal difference uh we still would have managed with a draw but we would only have one gold margin here so very uh, impressive win there for, for Real Madrid. But yeah, I'm very, very pleased. Uh, I'm not sure when we take a look at our schedule what the next episode will be. Because uh, right now we have quite a few teams that are pretty far down the league table. And we don't care about the Italian Cup. But maybe, maybe like if... Uh, I mean, things could change because there are going to be a few games uh, that, that they will play. So... Maybe one of these teams will be a little bit higher up, a few places uh, further up the table. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Because um, if it doesn't go for any of these teams, then probably next game going to be due a game. Then we are skipping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven games. And that was, might be a little bit too much. So maybe we're going to see, uh, see one of these teams. Um, I haven't decided yet. But as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.